I got my Milwaukee gloves. Those are special. Oh, those are going to help me. Well, anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to take uh, this electrical wire down here. Right here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook all the machinery to uh, its own circuit instead of hooking in them to the light circuit. So I'm going to separate the power circuit, you might say, from the light circuit. Uh, first of all, we got to string this, uh, this wire up here, and then we'll put a box on the end of this wire right here. Uh, probably a square box, four square box. So we're going to take this, I'm going to put this little drill bit in here, it's a 1 16th of an inch. Tighten her down, I put a, a keyed chuck on this a long time ago. It seems to work better for me. Uh, you can tighten all three. There's three holes at the end. Uh, you can tighten all three if you really want to get it tight. Then we're going to take this wire right here and we're going to run it from the box, the little four square box, up along here, along that beam, and then uh, over here to another box over here. I'm going to take that box right there and disconnect the lights from it and possibly put a square box, a four square box in there too. And then we're going to run another wire along this beam right here. All the way over here. And then down that beam, all the way to here. Um, what I want it for is this joiner over here. And uh, anything else that has uh, a lot of power. And I'm going to make an outlet to separate the power from the lights. Now this is how you put these together. You put this uh, ring here on the inside. 
right there. And then you tighten it down. And make sure that these screws make sure that these screws point to the back of your box. And this is called a four square box. Alright then, take your screwdriver take your screwdriver and tighten this ring right here. Use your screwdriver to tighten it. Now this is for uh, out in a garage or a barn or outside somewhere. So just hook this Fasten this wire down. Tighten your screws. Uh, this particular fastener has square drive, Phillips, or straight, whichever one you have. You're going to need wire nuts. So we'll get those. I'm only going to run one wire in, out and in because this four square box is just uh, a connector for sort of. Uh, it's better to strip the wires while you have it on the ground, while your feet are on the ground. It's kind of hard to do it when you're up in the, on a ladder. Let's take your wire strippers. Most of the time, I use, on my particular wire strippers, I use the third hole down. like that and make them long enough about five-eighths of an inch you gotta work it my wire strippers are pretty old so um, according to this it's uh, 14 Screw the um, screws down. They're tight. After you get your box up there, I'm going to put one of these covers on. First of all, tuck your wires in. Make sure that they're secure. Bend the wires up in there.
right, what, what you do here is you take this ground terminal right here and hook it onto this uh, copper ground right here. All right. And make sure that it winds so that it will tighten the, the uh, connection instead of loosening it. So you have to wind it around the right way. Always carry with you uh, a straight screwdriver and a Phillips. I got a I got a bucket so that I can sit on. I moved the box up a little bit so I can work on it easy. Okay, here's your, here's the black wire, right here, make sure you have a short length of it, about six to eight inches again. Come down here, strip it with your strippers. These are really old ones, but you can still get this style, and uh, for DIY, this is fine. Alright, now take your, take your needle nose and again make a hook. And right on this um, outlet here, and I will get, come in closer. Right on this outlet you have silver wire or silver screws right here on this side and then over here there are brass screws the black one goes on the brass Since we're going to use both screws, I'm screwing both of them out. All right, make sure your your black wire is stripped on both ends. Make a hook in one end. And remember, this one is going to bring power from this outlet to this one. Another thing that an electrician told me is to make sure that these grounds up here on the top, make sure that they point like this, with the ground pointing up. Uh, he told me that if uh, ever your plug was part way out and you dropped a screwdriver on, it would just hit the ground and not uh, short out the circuit but 
that's uh, kind of a freaky accident. I make this stripped part about five-eighths of an inch. I have a brother-in-law who's an electrician. He told me that. All right, now this requires a little bit of explanation. First of all, this is where your power comes in. All right, it goes through this wire to the black, and the black one hooks on to the brass colored screws. Now, these are older. Um, outlets but they do work and uh, they are a little bit tarnished from brass. Alright, the next thing is here's your power coming in right here, this wire coming from here and you hook that to the silver terminal. That is one outlet. If you want two then we'll continue on. Okay, now we're going to go, come from the white terminal over here to this other white terminal. And this is the silver side. The, these terminals are silver. All right, now you're going to have a cover like this. Just fit your outlet on there. You're going to have a screw like this. It's 6 by 32. That means number 6... They, the screws, uh, the smaller screws, go by numbers. So it's 6 by 32. 32 threads per inch. Just look at them a little bit. Make sure they look okay. 
All right, now this ground, you got to make sure that it does not touch any of these terminals in here. You're going to have a short, so you put your ground in first. And uh, sort of smash these wires in there until you get it to where you want it. Don't be afraid to smash them in there. All right, now we'll take our flashlight, check it over, make sure we don't have any shorts, and then put it together. Now this is for a shop installation. I don't, don't recommend this uh, type of work for residential for inside, but you can use the same principles. I have this tester. Uh, these are pretty inexpensive and I keep it in my toolbox. It's just a light. 80 to 300 volts. So let's look here. Test this. And if, if you can see it, it shows that we got power. If you can see that light come off, off and on. It's better if it's a little bit dark there. Alright, so we'll try it. Our drill. Um, we didn't show the breaker, but I did get the uh, breaker on. So, it's working.